shouldn't have no shirt on so tight that a man can see what size I am. I should have my black line so low that I bend over they can see all my fools. I shouldn't have no skinny jeans, my God. Oh, they can see my I, I'm a man. No, but I have enough material that God can be glorified. He'll go. Well, I'm not gonna look nice. Yes, you will. He'll glorify the leaders that made it. You're really beautiful. Don't believe Hollywood. Don't believe the world. They're telling you that take all your clothes off to look beautiful. No, have a beautiful spirit. Have a beautiful attitude. Have a beautiful disposition. God will bless you. Amen. That's right. But it said when this preaching went forth, we must have the smoke. Yes, sir. We must have the smoke. He said when they start rejoicing, my God, then we were saying, praise God, glory be to God. We want to be right. We want to do what's right. We want to dress right. We want to be beautiful. You shouldn't be touching and messing around before you get married. Amen. The Bible said, amen. They wrote and they asked him questions about should we be touching before we get married and messing around. He said, concerning the things you wrote her to me, it is good. He said, brother, he didn't say thou shalt not. You know why? Because thou shalt was for the Old Testament. New Testament, your heart is changed. He ain't got to tell you thou shalt. If the word of God says it plainly, amen, your heart says amen. That's right. When your heart is regenerated, they had hard hearts, but they couldn't take half the stuff that was said. But when your heart is right, yeah, yeah, yeah. that Babylonian teacher talking about just don't hit a home run. You can go to third base. No, don't start the game. Because it's too serious. You say, give me Bible for that. The Bible said, can a man take a fire in his bosom and not be burned? He said, brother, y'all preaching the real tight talking about we can't let him peck and touch before we get married. No, we're not preaching the tight. The word of God is preaching the type. You want to hear what Jesus really said? He didn't say not only do you not touch my God and build the house at midnight, rubbing all up on him. He said you don't even look at him. That's Jesus' church. That's Jesus' church. See, your church tell you, you go to third grade. Then you hear the church of God say you shouldn't be touching. Jesus said, hold on. If a man, look. Let him don't touch him. Look. Go ahead, verse number uh, verse number three. You want the smoke? You want the smoke? I want the smoke, my God. Amen. I didn't touch my wife until I got to this altar. You said you now she was the bride. Amen. Thank God. I was able to contain myself. So amen. Later on that night, we had some smoke. You <laughs> still got smoking, man. Oh, you did that. Verse number three. Well, glory be to God. Hey, I was fighting my relationship. When you do the right thing, right, you hold a standard, amen. You have a testimony. In the end, amen. Glory be to God. It's not too tight. It's right, amen. It's a beautiful thing to do things the right way. Then I can tell my children, Daddy didn't buy their mom. Daddy didn't take her cry. We had this thing that was called keep the cry alone. If we was ever uh, 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 together in a real close proximity, we would all, uh, we made almost bump it. She, she, she was sitting like, hold on, don't touch my crown. That's right, God. Hey, when I didn't touch your crown, and it wasn't leaning. Yeah. All, right. all right, verse number three. You must have a smoke. Let's get that. And they sang the song of Moses. They sang the song of Moses. The servant of God. Yes. And the song of the Lamb. Yes. Yes. Great and marvelous are thy words. Yes. Lord God Almighty. Yes. God, just and true. So they sang the song of Moses. And the Son of the Lamb. Thank God, amen, for the Son of Deliverance. Thank God for deliverance, saints of God. Yeah. And saints, I'm going to tell you, amen. if we end up having people come to the altar of prayer, but they're not delivered, yeah. it will be no real smoking experience. Mm. Saints, they will try, they will try to measure to what they hear preached. Mm -hmm. But there will be some things in there that just, that, 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 that just scrub. It's, salvation should not be a struggle. That's right. That's right. The Bible said, My yoke is easy. Yeah. It said, The way of the transgressor is hard. That's right. But many times, there's some things and there's a deliverance that's needed. Many times, they gave themselves to attitudes and all this other stuff. And they get saved. Anybody have say something to them that will get an attitude spirit rise out. Some folk might have their tongue is just slick. They just say what they want to say. I mean, people say they, they, they got a mouth on. It's like they know how to talk. 
good thing. Don't mess with them. They, they know how to put words together. They don't cuss. But they know how to put their words together that is just as effective. You won't mess with them no more. Some folk need their eyes to They can look at you in a way. You better back up off and here they're trying to be sweet. And here the Bible talks about sweet. The fruit of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, long suffering. Yes, they sung the song of Moses and the song of the Lamb. You need to be delivered. If you want to have smoke, say to God, we can't be half lust and talk about smoke. Oh, How can you call yourself church and God every month? I can say, hey, this there. Every time a sister walks into the choir, almost, you're going to fight the devil. Every time you go to the mall, almost. You gotta go home and repent. That's not for the glory and honor of God. Yes, you human, my God. But should nothing pull you to that degree. I'm gonna tell you when you know you need deliverance is when some simple temptation got you almost shaken. You should have enough victory down in your soul. Enough power. The Bible says as many as receive them, to them gave me power. How in the world I would use my power and energy and strength and virtue to tear the devil's kingdom down if I gotta use the Lord just to stay holy? I don't want to get back. I don't want to lust. I don't want to cheat. I don't want to go back and smoke weed. No, just go and say, Lord, give me a third. Uh, right. Give me a third. Right. Just give me a third, dear God. I want joy in my soul. I want joy. If you want smoke, you've got to have the food as a deliverance. Right. Right. That's a married couple, my God. We've been married for years. You know what, you know what people do when they don't get fully delivered? They take the standard of salvation way down. And what they doing is borderline fighting. I mean, attitude, sleep in the other room, slam the door. Say, I hate I married you. As soon as you leave, I hate you. Tell them the truth. You can't stand your husband. I can't stand him. You make me sick and say, Seriously? Right. And you want your child to get saved up under your gut. Right. For real. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Oh, Lord. You got to get before God and say, Lord, and say, and we have them grow up. As soon as they get eight they bam, out the door. We got to have smoke. In the best case scenario, it's going to be hard enough to keep them, let alone in a home where there's no smoke. There's no real fire. There's no real food. That's what the meat is for. I want to go to the meat to get more smoke. I want to go to the meat to get more inspiration. I want God to refine me. Who will take me deeper in the things of God? Who will take me higher? Not just coming here just to be coming. It takes a good devotion. I don't want to be rushing through this. I'm too busy. No. I'm too busy, Lord. I need it. Yes, sir. Lord, my prayer life, Lord. I got to have the smoke. I got to have the smoke, Lord. I got to have the Lord. My fast life is a thief of the past. Revive my prayer. I got to have the smoke. He said, this kind. Come and let you to have a certain level of smoke to deal with some stuff. We can't just play games with this. It's too late. Too many saints have gone before us. They left us too rich of a heritage. We got to have smoke because they have smoke. We got to keep the smoke going. Praise God. Come on, read. The song of the Lamb saying, Great and marvelous are thy works. Come on. Lord God Almighty. You cannot testify effectively if there's not a certain level of deliverance. That's what he's saying there. Great and marvelous are the I'm testifying gloriously mm -hmm. with power. Not no attitude testimony. I'm okay, I'm gonna take my glory. I'm saved anyway. No, no, no. But I mean real Holy Ghost inspiration behind your testimony, unless you have a thoroughness of deliverance, of victory over the flesh. I mean, sometimes I'm like, God, they'll leave by my way. This and the other. But two weeks later, there's a certain thing going on. No, the Lord deliver me. Paul said, I keep my body under. That's right. That's right. You got to have power to do it. That's right. You can't have it. They say glory testimony. All the testimony came by because it was fully delivered. That's right. That's right. Testimony service itself under the anointing should be enough to get a soul saved. Right. Okay. Testimony right. itself, my right. God, under the anointing, amen, of God's word by a fully delivered person should be enough to get a person sanctified. Yes, Matter of fact, a new convert got saved about four or five months ago. He was dealing with a condition in his body. He had been saved before, came back with this condition in his body. He was doing this and the other, taking this and the other. Another new convert got up. And testify with such an anointing. Mama. Such an anointing. Not the message. Not an old brother hand to take. Not another. Another new. Not an old guy. New convert got up under the inspiration of Almighty God and declared how God 
that inspired my faith before I got when I got saved back in 79. Mm. I, I stayed saved for 15 years. I backslid. God showed me when I come back, I got to come back to the greatest night I ever had. I can't rest being no less than I was before. I got to recover all, everything the devil stole from me. My consecration, my level of faith, my devotion, my, my vision, my, 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 everything. I got to clean my wardrobe up. I got to clean it and I got to clean out my medicine cabinet. Just saying God himself was my healer then. He'll be my healer now. And that other new convert saw that. Mama. And took their sin. Amen. So here it said, when they were fully delivered, God was able to bless them. Okay. Keep going. Amen. Just and true are thy way. Yes. Thou King of saints. Yes. Who shall not fear thee, O Lord, and glorify thy name? Yes. Don't want to be saved. Breathe. For thou only art holy. Come on, no other name. For all nations are come and worship before thee. Come on. For thy judgments are made manifest. He said, All nations shall come before thee because thy judgments are made manifest. Before their smoke, it's not just that the full word of God needs to be preached, but it needs to be lived out. He said, For thy judgments, the full word of God, are made manifest. Brother Hampton was preaching. And he was teaching, he was saying that, and there was a brother who was going out to get something going, and he had went somewhere, he was preaching, and well, he came back and was talking to Brother Hampton, he said, man, I don't understand this. He said, I went down and I preached everything you preached. Mm -hmm. And he said, but these, some of these people, they still Hollywood, they got this, they still doing this, they still taking that. And Brother Hampton came in and said, mm -hmm. young man, come here. He said, one thing to preach the justice, mm -hmm. the full word of God. He said, but I did that on Sunday. But on Monday, I was at their house mm -hmm. praying. On Tuesday, I'm in the Bible study with them to explain the nuances of the doctrine and standards based upon God's word. Mm -hmm. On Wednesday, I didn't eat. I stayed before God. On Thursday, I'm good. It took me the consecration to cause the manifestations to end up in the congregation. Mm -hmm. I, can't just preach. I can't just say some words and go and go to the Wendy's and do this and see you next Sunday. This ain't that. Mm -hmm. He said, thy judgments are made manifest. You go to a congregation where you sense and you can hear. Homes are in order. Faith is in order. Doctrine, standards are by the by. He said, thy judgments are made manifest. Come on and read. And after that I look yes. and behold, the temple of the tabernacle of the testimony in heaven was open. Now I see the church of God. Hey. You, you don't see the church of God until you see the judgment. Not preach, but manifest. Mm. Once you see the word of God, it one time somebody was trying to give a hand to all this crap. The overhand, you did this and you did that. that. He said, what do you mean? saints. He said, they're the ones. Mm. I wasn't in that room when that doctor came in there and said, you got $40. Mm. You going to do this? Mm. The blood is already... Leaving your brain. I know. You got 40 dollars. I'm sorry, God. You can check me out. The same thing I'm saying. They say, go look for you in obituary. Mm. Thy judgments are made manifest. Mm. Made manifest. Homes. Some say that go talk to your children. All this uh, uh, in bands playing ungodly music. Fill up like this, that, yeah. Back in the day, playing the temptations and the icy but Not in the church, you got home, you know. Yeah, man, they, they, whatever they're talking, not the church got home, you're not. Beatles and all this. Uh, no, yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Pop is not a rolling stone. <laughs> I'm a man of God. That's right. I fast and pray. Well, you're not going to be between the sheets. Unless you're married. You, know, you ain't going to bring that foolishness up in there. That's right, man. Now you got these teenagers coming in. No, no, no. It's church time. Amen. On Sunday morning, you're going to be at church. Thy judgments are made. One after that, since I can saying Thy judgments are made better. So we want to have a real church got home. We're going to do things the right way. Amen. And God's going to bless. And the whole community begin to see. Whoa, it's the church of God here. The church of yeah. God. Sometimes we go to the hospital. They say they'll have a child. And they sit there. And they go to the room. You don't even, you don't even talk to them. Right. Thy judgments. Oh. They, they, they go to church. They're going to be up here praying. 
Okay, you got to make matters. They're not going along with no foolishness, God. Thy judgment, I may be talking about the smoke. Come on to read. Let's close it. Man. And after that, I look. Yes. Oh, yes. The temple of the tabernacle of the testimony in heaven. Yes. Oh, come on. And the seven angels came out of the temple. Yes. Having the seven plagues. My Lord. Clothed in pure and white linen. Come on, read. And having their breasts girded. Thank God for the sanctified ministry. Come on, read. And one of the four beasts gave unto the seven. One angels. of the four beasts gave unto. Come on. Seven angels, seven uh, golden vials. One of the four beasts. God. One of the four beasts, one of the redeemed of all ages, one of the saints, gave unto the seven angels the ministry, the seven golden vials full of the wrath of God, who lived forever and ever, and ever, and the temple. What? what? The four beasts, the saints, gave, they desired it, gave unto the angels, the seven golden vials full. What? The four beasts, the saints, Together, unified, gay. They were on one accord. Smoke. In the book of Acts, we're not going there. Chapter one, 2, verse 1, it said, and they were all on one accord. Then verse 2, 3, it said the fire, smoke, fire causes smoke. They were on one accord. We want smoke. We have to be on one accord on the Word of God. Desiring the Word of God. We don't want half the church one compromise and the other half on the Word of God. We want to be on one accord. Preach it, brother. I've been to camp meetings where half of them want the full Word of God on sanctification preach and the other half don't want to preach. No, there'll be no smoke. That's confusion, my God. We want the full Word of God. We're on one accord. Preach it. Won't you stay in the book? Preach it, brother. Preach it, brother. Amen. We want the full word of God. Amen. They were on one accord in their quest. Over in Jude, it said earnestly contending. Yeah. We don't want half of us contending for bigger houses. Oh but the other half contending for more glory, that's more right. smoke. That's right. Yes, we got to live, my God, but that's not our focus. The Bible says seek first right. the kingdom of God. Right. Our quest, my God, is for God to bless the saints. Our quest is for more manifestation of the power of God. Our quest is our quest is for bodies to be healed. Our quest is for those who can say and get fully sanctified. Our quest is for the gifts to be working among us at a high level. Our quest is for those that are truly honest all over the place. Be unified on one accord, my God. Not this false church of God unity, my God, where everybody just come together. You preach it, you preach, you preach it, you preach. No, no, no. The Bible said they shall see eye to eye when real Zion is redeemed and restored together. Amen. We want those that are truly honest. We're not building up no man. We're not building up no congregation. We want the body of Christ to be together, to work together. Yeah. My God, to bring us in Zion in this end time. Amen. Yeah. We have the same mindset, my God. As long as you want the word of God, as long as you want the fullness of the glory, as long as you're not trying to compromise and back up on this and back up on that, my God. Let's work together. Amen. They were on one accord together with each other. Saints, we want the smoke. We want the smoke. It said the four beasts gave. They were together. Go to Ephesians chapter 4. Verse number 3. Three. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit. My God. It takes effort. We want yes. the smoke. It said endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit. Endeavor means to put forth effort. It takes effort. We're different. We grew up different. You may like ribs. She may like chicken. You might be a buckeye. He might be a bulldog. You may be a great Wolverine. <laughs> but, but, listen, listen, hold on, hold on. Y'all gotta get, when you ain't one, there's a whole bunch of years, you gotta get that same way you said. But, endeavor. In other words, I'm not gonna let that get between us. We're going after the glory. We're going after. See, many times, saints of God, we talk about the smoke. 
Many times. Oh, Father. Listen to what it said there, though. Read that one more time. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit. Saints, it takes love. First of all, it takes humility. Amen. It said with all lowliness. The moment you think you're somebody, mm -hmm. the moment you think you're better, the moment you think you got it all, the moment you think you're the answer to every question. Yeah. It said with all lowliness. We talking about we need to smoke. It's got to be a together collective that we need everybody. There's no big eyes or little you. We need everybody together, working together as one man, as one team. It takes love. Why does it take love? Because the Bible says charity, hope is all things. We call that something our job. We call it, we call it gracious assumptions. <clears throat> Meaning that if you see something that could possibly not be the best, you're not looking to criticize and crit critique and right. sit there with your face turned up for finding a reason that did you see that did you see that you no, when we got real love, you use gracious assumptions. You said, hopefully, that this wasn't like this. And this love, love hopeth, and charity, charity hopeth all things, and, and believeth all things. And we've been trying to get this together. But it said, read that one more time, my Bruce. The depth of it, read. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit. That's the problem. That's the problem. It said, endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit. What happens sometimes? We need to smoke in homes, in congregations, in fellowship. What happens sometimes? They don't have unity of the spirit no more. Something happens. You can try all you want, but if there's not unity of the spirit, then there ain't going to be no unity no other way. Something happens. Somebody get offended. Somebody get hurt. The spouse, this spouse get hurt because I went to Thanksgiving. Your mother said my macaroni wasn't the best. Something happens. <laughs> this sister didn't invite me to her child's birthday party, and they said that and something happens. Right, they didn't let me enjoy when I thought I got shit up. Something happens. Yeah. They didn't call me to teach the Sunday school class when I had the real, and then they said something happens. Their spirits were together. Something happened, and it changed one of their spirits. That's why the Bible said, guard your heart. Don't let that thing get to you. It's going to change your spirit. You ain't got the same spirit towards me. Your spirit is saying, we can talk all we want, pray all we want, but until our spirits get back alive together, you don't treat me like you used to. You don't treat her like you used to. You said couldn't wait till she come, now you can't wait till they leave. And it got to your spirit. You don't let stuff in your spirit. Listen, how do I know? Because the Bible said, pray for them in the spite of them. If your spirit is changed, you ain't praying for them like they're the same words. Your spirit is changed towards me. Your spirit is turned changed. They hurt you, it hurt, it went down, and now it's in your spirit. Now, whatever they do, however they say, your spirit is changed. You used to couldn't wait to hug them, to smile, you was kind, to say nothing. Now you have a frown every time you see them. Your spirit is changed. You allow whatever it was. And say to God, you got to be fully Holy Ghost filled with Christ's likeness, my God. Amen. No matter how they treat you, don't let it change your spirit. You got to go to an altar and say, Search me, Lord. Has this thing changed my spirit? You got to be honest about that thing, right? But some stuff hurt. It do hurt. We human. It hurts to what happened. It really hurt. I'm not angry about it, my God. It hurt, but I cannot allow it. The devil trying to change my spirit towards you. That's how make me feel a certain way about you. And when your spirit gets changed, every interacting, every interaction after your spirit is changed will only add because your lens is different. You're interpreting things differently. You, you didn't change your mindset towards it. And now it's just adding and adding and adding. And here we're trying to get smoke. 
Trying to get the so-and-so healed. Trying to get the so-and-so child saved. So-and-so's the only way down for them to see the one true church. They say, look, we need to smoke. Lord, search me, Lord. Show me, Lord. Lord, so we can be a wonderful. Lord, so we can have. I don't want my husband, my wife, my bitch, my children. I don't want nothing between me and nobody. I want to be a wonderful for every saint of God. If they hurt me, I got to give that thing to God. I'm not saying, listen, I'm, Lord, I'm taking some stuff to God, and I'm going to leave it there. Why? Because if I keep this thing, it changes my spirit. And I don't want it to change my spirit. I'm hurt. 